Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So I finally found the time to swatch and color a little bit with these pencils. And I have to say overall, I really like them. Um, they are the Star, Star Joy Gold Edition. And if the reason why the tin might look familiar is because it's a little bit like, this half of it is a little bit like the original Star Joy pencils. Um, they're pretty nice. Uh, I have this, which is what came with most of them. I think there was, she said, Lori said one or two didn't uh, color my world. Um, but yeah, this is like a little swatch sheet. sheet oh my gosh, words are hard, y'all. Anyway, um, so the tin on the inside looks like this. It has the color and the um, name. It's grouping, which is a whole nother story. That completely threw me. Uh, and then the name. Uh, I had very few issues with most of my pencils. Like I said, I had one that sharpened a little wonky and one that the label was essentially missing. I don't know exactly what happened, but I, you know, it's no big deal, I guess. Um, so they come in a pretty nice array of colors. I did a, a, a speed swatch of the uh, things and I'll show you that in a minute. So these typically run about $45, which for a set of 120 pencils is pretty reasonable. I don't trust the pencils that, most of them anyway, that are like, you know, $20, $25. Most of them are garbage. Um, so the fact that this price point is kind of in the middle of the road makes me honestly trust it a little bit more. The ones that are super, super, super cheap, um, they sharpen so badly. It, it's just, I ended up getting rid of almost all of them because I just could not stand it. Um, but so this is the top layer and as you can see, I've already gotten a favorite color. <laughs> um, they come in where it has doo doo. Hopefully you can see doo doo doo. There we go. Sorry about that. Where it says rose, and then it's that's the grouping it's in, and then uh, red pink, and then it has the number. Hopefully you can see that. It. I have to say these are not as reflective as the other one because they were like stamped in instead of just like plastered on. Um, that was one thing she said that um, she kind of wanted because, you know, the ones that, the ones that are super metallic are really hard to see. And especially for someone like myself who has vision issues, which is why it takes me so long to do pictures sometimes. Um, even with glasses, I still have trouble seeing. So. That was nice that she, you know, thought enough to do that. Um, she worked cl very closely with a guy by the name of Andy, who is the manufacturer, or not manufacturer, but like the person behind the pencils. Um, and it shows, it really does. It shows that a artist slash colorist had a hand in designing these pencils. It, it really does. Um, They are, I, I will say this, I wish they were a little thicker. And some people say, well, that would make them heavier. Maybe, but for me, I have arthritis. So um, the bigger ones, like some of the Derwins, are um, a little easier for me to hold because they don't require my hand to sort of s squeeze in a little as much. Um, but this is pretty typical of most pencils. But as you can see, she's got the, the roses and then the like salmon type pinks. Um, this is a gorgeous color, by the way. This color right here is absolutely gorgeous. 
it's called Georgia. I don't know how she came up with the name. Some of the names are kind of cool, by the way. I'll I'll go over some of those in a in a bit um, when I show you the swatch sheet. <laughs> this is a beautiful color. Um, and then you got some more peaches and yellows and plush. I think is this the one? Do do. Oh, Easter grass. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, I'm actually looking for um, a color. It's in the green tone. Uh, hmm, I'll find it later. But then uh, you get the blues like the indigos and, and various little shades of blue like that. This is like a nice teal type. So... And they go in order, numerical order, from like 1 to 120, which is really nice. Sometimes it seems like they throw the uh, numbers on so randomly it doesn't make any sense. Um, so I like that that's also a thing. Um, they... are... And the way she grouped them, they, she grouped them in analogous. Anal, anal, I hope I said that right. I know what it means, but sometimes I trip over words. But it means like, like these are the, all the roses. And then, for example, here you can tell these where my fingers are. These are the primary colors. Um, so you get the idea, right? And then these are like the greens, uh, the cool greens and stuff blue greens that kind of thing uh, so it's kind of nice that she grew in groups of three like the three rows and then three red orange and it's like that the whole way over so it's it's nice that she like the three primaries so it's good that cool that she did that um and let's see the others and then there's the last tray, which is like, these are the pretty like pastel -y types. But again, she, she did hers in groups of three, which is interesting. Uh, she has a whole method, which I gotta go back to this because I have, I'm only sort of just starting to learn some about it. Even, even though I don't follow her, I don't really follow this too much. But the whole deal with this is that you, you swatch out the pencils and then you take a particular color, say from another pencil set or whatever, um, and you put it with, you cut out the center part of this, and then you put it in and you kind of see whether, until you find one that goes with that particular pencil. It's kind of cool. I think I got, I hope I got that right. Um, that's kind of the general idea, so. But uh, again, she has like the really pretty pastel -y types and the browns, the like flesh tones. And I love some of these ones um, right here, like the neutrals. And then she has uh, quite a bit of French gray, which is interesting. And then uh, like a blue gray and then black. There is no white. And her reasoning for that was most people only use certain types of white anyway which is actually really true. Uh, most people either use a Holbein, a Prismacolor, uh, or um, I think a Karandash, and it's Karandash. For anybody who's wondering, it's not Karan, it's Karandash. I, I found this out directly from the source. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's really nice nice way that she put these together um lovely lovely color choices and also you will not find a metallic gold or silver um because most people make their own up i mean they make it up you know because it it looks a little more real i'm gonna move this as well i'm gonna move this aside and just set it over here for a little moment Ugh. There we go. Now, um, I will say I have to apologize because I sort of did an oopsie when, <clears throat> excuse me, when I was doing this, I started pulling pencils and writing them down through 
the opposite side of the wrong side of the tin. So I pu started pulling from 41 instead of from whoops, wrong one, wrong side. Sorry about that. My bad. Anyway, um, I started pulling from 40 instead of one, <laughs> and because they go in order. And I'm I didn't realize this until I was maybe down here, and I'm going oh crud. So I, you know, at that point I was like, ah, oh, forget it. It's no big deal. I, I know what's what. I just started from the wrong side of the tin. Eh. And I decided to do this differently. Um, this, I made up myself. This um, particular blank um, uh, format, I made it up myself. So if you would like a free blank copy of this, uh, it holds up to 41, no, actually 43, 44, 46, 47. It holds up to about 47 total on each side. I know that's not as big as some, but um, as you can see, it works quite well. Uh, so if you would like a free copy of that, um, as long as you, you know, give me credit when you use it, I would totally appreciate that. Um, I have one that I use from Belinda Coloring with Faithful Girl, and I try always to give her credit, say, hey, this is her, uh, blank swatch sheet, because, you know, that's the right thing to do. So anyway, um, these are the colors, and... See, so you get red, pink, rose, and then vanity. And they're all, they all look like they go together because they're uh, analogous. Where is my little, here, I'll show you. I think Lori is absolutely brilliant. Um, she is, she is absolutely brilliant. And poor lady, she's had a tough year. Um, and yet she, you know, she really just puts, out everything that she can for us and I you know if she ever catches hold of this video I want her to know personally how much I appreciate everything she does um, so if you look closely at these colors as you can see there are all kind of like that see they're all kind of here. So, see there, if you look, red pink is kind of, I would say it's roughly in the neighborhood of somewhere between here and here. It's kind of in that vicinity. And if you look at the rose, it's kind of about here. And if you look at the vanity pink, it's kind of down here. Thing. So that's kind of how she did it. And the thing is with uh, analogous, I'm going to read from here, from three to five adjacent hues on the color wheel, sharing a common color. So that's basically why she did it that way, is she's trying to basically do some of the work for us. And, uh, you know, it's kind of brilliant, really. So that's how she did that. And, um, and you get your pinks and you got some like red oranges and then some like mustard, warm yellow kind of things like the ogres. And it just goes on like that. And um, I love some of these colors. They're beautiful. Now, like the one I was trying to look for earlier, Cheap Blonde. <laughs> I don't know what was in either her head or Andy's, but that's funny. Not quite, which actually makes sense. It's not quite white, but not quite the other. It, it's actually kind of a brilliant name. Now, the other name, Aqua, was, uh, not Aquaman, Aquaman, is very funny. I love that. <laughs> Um, some of these names are, uh, kind of hilarious. Uh, there's one that's, um, where is it? Baby Kisses. Uh, I think that's right here. That's really cute. 
um there's a lot of good names uh ladybug that's really cute uh, let's see where's another name i like i don't know this brigantine i've never even heard that before either it's a color name i haven't come across or it's something they made up i'm not sure um let's see sophia pink i'm not sure about that one um this one i couldn't find a name to um i, I think i gotta look inside my tin the that's the one that the label was missing uh, but yeah, there's some really good names on here. Uh, let's see. Uh, do ba like baby kisses and uh, barbecue. <laughs> there's some good names. So, but that's kind of that. Now, I did get a chance to color a little bit with this. Uh, I'm gonna find my book. There it is. I haven't colored too much with it. Oh, by the way, if you have not got this book, I highly recommend it. This book is, it's small, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous book. I will not be doing any wet media in this, and I wouldn't recommend alcohol markers. This book is too, too, too pretty to mess. The paper is good. I mean, you could do a little light wet media, but I wouldn't go crazy with it. But it's, it... It's by a, um, there we go, Kanaku, I cannot pronounce this guy's name, I apologize, but I have um, several of this guy's things. In fact, this was, this image was by him. And isn't it gorgeous? It is absolutely stunning, right? Um, so yeah, Japanese. And uh, anyway, um, it goes through the seasons. I mean, you could tell that's definitely like Halloween and, uh, you know, spring and summer. It, and this is the page I did. Uh, all of this right here was done with the Star Joy Golds. Uh, I, I, this is supposed to be like that, um, that sweet, sweet tart, um, type ribbon candy uh i hope it looks like that but yeah this this was done with those pencils and they are nice um again this book is amazing the pencils i'm gonna go back to them for a second um because i remembered something i wanted to speak about so one say the one little drawback I will say besides that they're a little thin for me um, the only drawback is that the the pencil leads seem to be a bit brittle and I color with light hand most of the time not a super light hand but they tend to snap like a cron dash blender and I'm not sure what what the deal with that is um their consistency is kind of like the oil base, like uh, the polychromos, but they're not quite wax either, which is actually, I love pencils that are in that middle of the road where they're oil based because they're not as, well, they're not as smushy as say um, a Prismacolor. They're not as hard as a polychromos you know, they're, they're, they're really nice in between. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend these pencils. They're really great. And, um, I'm debating whether I'm going to actually even keep these in the tin or not. Uh, I don't know. I really love the tin. It's gorgeous. Um, but if you have not checked out, uh, Color My World's, uh, YouTube channel, you should. Um, she is, uh, as I said, one of the main influences uh, for these pencils, um, and it just, I love them. Good job, Lori. They are absolutely great, and I will probably be ordering a spare set of these when I get the funds, because they're awesome. So, anyway, with that, I'm going to show you the uh, speed swatch that I did, and um, I hope you all have a good one. Stay safe, everyone, and happy coloring.
Oh. Uh-huh.